Good day, people. Now our word for today is deserve. Now everyone deserves something from what they've done. If you save a person's life, you deserve to be praised and commended for your actions. And same goes on when you kill someone in cold blood. You deserve to be condemned and brought to the devil for your punishment for your eternal sin. Now, ever wondered what being a Karen deserves? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a look at four Karenist familiaris species and on what they actually deserve doing what they're doing. So without further ado, let's start with the best one on the list. This first one is the most well-deserved outcome in this video. This Karen is letting the demon out because the burrito bowl she got was, in her words, disgusting. Yeah, she took that steaming hot burrito bowl and launched that shit 20 kilometers per hour to that poor employee's face. And after that, fortunately, she got arrested at their house. So the name of our Chipotle Karen is Rosemary Hain. More like Rosemary Hainus. This is the screenshot of her TikTok and where she said that she can be the main character in someone else's story. Yeah, nah, close but no cigar. She actually became the villain of her story and also the story of other people. So she apologized to the real main character, Emily Russell, in court. And she just basically said that she is having a bad day. And she also said this. She said that she was not happy with the way her food was prepared and stated that if I showed you how my food looked and how my food looked a week later from that same restaurant, it's disgusting looking. She just can't let go of her natural stink. She probably went like this. Oh, oh I'm sorry that I launched the bowl of uh, burrito at you. But did you see that shit? Uh, that's disgusting. A bowl of spit is more appetizing than the bowl she gave me. I don't really get why she said that. I mean, is she expecting for the judge to empathize with her and be like, Order in the court. Yeah, you are right. That burrito bowl you got is one star. Set this woman free. And give her another burrito bowl, goddammit! And the very very good thing is the judge gave the most Giga Chad response I've ever read. It's very nice. Upon saying her last minute Karen complaint, the judge simply said, I bet you won't be happy with the food you're going to get in jail. <laughs> oh my god. And she got lucky apparently because the judge asked her this. So the judge said, Do you want to walk in her shoes for two months and learn how people should treat people? Or you want to do your jail time? which she responds, yes, I'd like to walk in her shoes. So if she didn't accept the offer, the sentence would have been 180 days in jail or 3 months in jail with 90 days suspension. And here's another Giga Chad response from the judge. So after the sentencing, Giga Judge said that, So I thought, why should the city taxpayers pay for her feed for 90 days in jail if I can teach her a sense of empathy? The judge is an absolute epitome of Giga Chad humans, and this happened 4 months ago so I think her sentencing just ended. And I really, really hope she learned her lesson and what happens when you get caught being a Karen. So this second Karen sighting is trying to pick a fight with a trash can. It's the squeak at the end. Yeah, you could. You straight up could, that's why your mirror's falling off and shit. Yeah, because your ass quit moving. My ass didn't move! I can't control where the city puts it, it's trash. Poor trash can. It's apparent that the trash can didn't deserve that. Mr. Trash Can is just minding his own business. So before I show you what her fate is for assaulting a trash can, a little context. She sped past me and in order to avoid hitting my car, she hit the trash can and knocked her mirror off. So um, she like, I like pull in, park, whatever. And then I see her like pulling back around. So I'm like, oh crap, here. She, she she's about to say something do something i don't know so i like i immediately start recording and i hear her like talking shit so i walk up to her and i told her go f yourself so this rabies infected karen is angry because her side mirror got wrecked because she was trying to avoid the car of our camera lady that's it that's the catalyst so let's get back to her committing battery to the trash can oh, how about that i got that on recording too Sure did. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I did. Huh? What are you gonna do now? <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot squeak like the master here. And I do have to wonder, when her family members hug her, can she also squeak? 
<laughs> it kind of reminds me of the kid who accidentally swallowed the squeaker. <laughs> Jonathan, are you okay? <laughs> So the Faith must have decided that she deserved to showcase her squeaking skills for her crazy antics. Huh? What are you gonna do now? Goddamn rope! I can't control! I can't control where the city puts it! That's why you fell! I mean, did she really deserve it? I don't really know. But let's move on. <laughs> Unfortunately, this Dalmatian Karen didn't squeak, but she suffered the same fate as Squeaky Karen previously. Now I apologize because I do not know why this Dalmatian Karen is enacting borderline aggravated assault and on what she was throwing. I, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I mean, is that a is that a paper mache, a snow, or a giant spitball or something? It sounds heavy. Sorry, I just realized that all of the Karen species in this video is leaning towards the heavy side. Now let me clarify that I did not do that on purpose, it's just a coincidence. I'm realizing it now as I was editing this. But now let's commend Dalmatian Karen's commendable track star performance. Now I do think she is going for a hit and run. The plan on her head is maybe to throw that huge lump of uh, spitball or something, then Usain bolts out of there. But she actually almost took two whole seconds for her agility stats to kick in, and probably twisted her ankle. Then we all know what happened next. She probably tried to mimic Squeaky Karen. I just really don't get why the Karen species emits such a strong, entitled energy. But luckily, a veteran king knows a solution on how to handle, diffuse, and outright destroy the entitled energy of this cursed Karen species. Exactly. That's it. That's how you should treat a Karen. Just act big like how you would scare a black bear away. So that's all there is to it for our Karen Species documentary. Thanks for watching. Bye.